Most vegetable gardeners have learned some of their best gardening practices the hard way, including me. It takes time to find out what works and doesn't work. But after a dreadful season, who wants to wait another year to try? Try again? Here are some of my top tips for avoiding seven common vegetable gardening mistakes. As gardeners, we know it's impossible to avoid every problem in the garden, but these tips should help reduce some of the vegetable growing challenges. On number one, taking on too much. Just as a new cook should not take on a dinner for 12, new gardeners should limit either the size of the garden or the length of their plant lists. A small garden is fun because you can keep up with the details while learning about your site and soil. Then expand gradually as more plants capture your interest. If you're looking at a large site, divide the growing season into three parts, spring, summer, and autumn, and grow three crops in each subseason. For example, you might grow potatoes, peas, and salad greens in spring beans, tomatoes, and cucumbers in summer, and end the year with broccoli, kale, and watermelon radishes. On number two, being overly optimistic about the weather, beautiful spring days lull us into thinking that only happy days are ahead, but then the wind starts blowing cold, or maybe a spring thunderstorm sends down hail that lays plants flat. Most gardeners are also weather addicts accustomed to carrying the 10-day forecast around in their heads because cloches, row covers, or wind-taming tunnels must be in place before they are needed. 3. Confusion about soil I'm now used to seeing pictures sent by new gardeners of plants that are undernourished and overwatered, and often deprived of light too. The gardeners usually did the right things, amending the soil with bagged organic amendments. But that is only step one. Rich, fertile soil is created gradually as fungi and other soil inhabitants build their invisible cities underfoot. Meantime, prepare the soil with a balanced organic fertilizer and a heaped helping of compost every time you plant anything. Number four, allowing limits on light. Plants are solar beings that get most of their energy from sun. Each leaf is a solar collector, so plants make their best growth when every leaf gets all the light it can process. This is why your garden should be in the sunniest spot available, and why you need to thin crowded seedlings so none are deprived of light. At number five, growing heat sensitive crops in containers. Many new gardeners think that growing vegetables in containers is easier than growing them in the ground, which is simply not true. Containers always have a dwarfing effect on plants, and container-grown plants need constant watering and feeding. Root temperatures in containers fluctuate daily, and cool season plants especially get upset when their roots get too warm. This does not happen in deeply dug or mulched beds where soil temperatures are more constant. On the plus side, plants that like warm roots such as peppers and eggplant may grow better in containers where summers are cool. Number six, letting weeds take over. Weeds are part of nature's plan for healing over scarred places on the earth. And if allowed, they will pave over every open space with green. You cannot permit this because the weeds will rob your plants of light, nutrients, and water. Weeding is a fact of gardening life, so weed early and often and keep your weeding tools sharp. On number seven, giving up too soon. Every new endeavor involves a learning curve and gardening is no different. Give yourself time to learn the best practices to follow. Study up on your favorite plants and network with other gardeners to learn about crops and varieties that grow well in your area. The garden is a great teacher. In a few seasons, you'll go from being a newbie to an old hand. By avoiding these common mistakes and educating yourself on best practices for vegetable gardening, you can increase your chances of success and enjoy a bountiful harvest. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications.
Your support is greatly appreciated.